Hey guys, um, so I'm going to be watching another movie, and this is it's another one of the 1001 movies to watch before you die. It's called Drugstore Cowboy. I have absolutely no idea what it's about. Um, I kind of look at some of the names. I, I know Heather Graham. I, there are a few others. I probably, I there's one I've seen before. I just don't remember his name. Um, and then I'm sure there'll probably be a few others that... I've seen it before, I just don't remember their names, but yeah, I don't know anything about this movie already, so let's just get started. God damn it, I was there just like you, I want to be the same as everyone else, even if I can't shoot it all right now. That ain't the way things work, right? I don't do shit. I mean, she was the one, uh, the other chick was the one who pretended to have the, uh, seizure she just stole a book and uh annoyed the uh <clears throat> dude get out Dude, you just take your half a blue shoe and go puke a while just leave you on the call fucking alone and you suffer the consequences they're all dickheads because you're a real stand up dude Nine a piece, nine times ten pieces. Uh, Seventy-five. Yeah, seventy-five. It's ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> and now we see why they don't like her because she actually has a conscience and is smart, and they can't use her essentially. Next time you step in the middle of one of my deals, with my arithmetic. I'll sell you the first one eye carnival freak I can find for a pack of chewing gum. Why the fuck does she stay around these losers? Nothing more attractive than these two sex. Oh, I guess you buried the drugs. Did she actually know that they were coming? You literally stole fucking from stores, you dipshits, and then expect her to help you. What happened? <clears throat> was the police were after Mr. Rubin? Drugstore in the city. Little panda got out of the car and ran away. Why would you take a dog on a fucking robbery? Seems like the fucking dog was smarter, and the police. Yeah, that was. I feel like they did. You just had them do that just to show. Oh, the cops are so mean. It, saying, oh well, they're just gonna put the dog to sleep, I guess, because he's a dog of a criminal. Yeah, she's really just the punching bag of these morons, isn't she? If I ever see a hat on the bed, Miss Yas. And like you'll never see me again. I'm gone. I just put the hat on the end of the bed just to get these idiots to leave. Yeah, farmer look like uh, high school or college preps. I'm assuming that something's gonna go wrong. You know, they go from something there. They always seem to go right, if you will to suddenly, you know, something goes wrong because it picked the wrong store or something like that. Right. Let's go. <clears throat> Inconspicuous. Shut up. Christ. 
How'd she blow it? You're a dumbass who got the fucking drawer. And expect him to carry the entire thing. This your little bottle. That'll last the three of us a week. What I find do, did notice about this is just how like pharmacies have dangerous drugs. But because, you know, the government pretty much makes it, says it's okay, then it's, you know, it's, it's, you know, uh, pretty much, uh, because, you know, with the pharma, you know, big pharma has control of it, I guess, um, has permission from the government, they're able to distribute drugs, um, because we know that even you know, drugs from pharmacies can be dangerous. You can become addicted to them and all that. Yes, please be as loud as you possibly can. <laughs> I like <laughs> I like how they you hire two like giants for orderlies. Are they really gonna try to fucking do the whole stupid hat thing as a blame for this shit? Really? You're gonna turn him against her? You really are shit. God, I hope they both die. And they get treated with the same respect they treat their friend. Have prior commitments in the form of a reservation for your room today. Today? Did you got today? I'm afraid so. You see, we're having a sheriff's convention in town. All these <laughs> I love it. Day program. Are you really? Kidding? Now you are. What is it? His friend? Your friend possibly? Your friend dying from an overdose, or just what? You're afraid of getting caught. So what's gonna happen to me? Can't take care of yourself. Diane, do what you want. Take whatever we got. I only need enough to get me home. So you need enough drugs to get you home so that you can get on a drug free program. I think you'd start now. Do you have a social security? Why wouldn't he have a social security number? Didn't mom get one when he was born? Talk to him. I junk here for years. Talk to him for years, but sooner or later they're gonna get a hold of something. Maybe it's not dope. Maybe it's booze. Maybe it's coal. Maybe it's gasoline. Yeah, but you can always help those who want to stop. There might be those who don't want to stop. Asshole. Why don't you do something, man? What's up with you, man? I thought you could Man, I'm not buying you no lunch. <laughs> I don't know what I mean. <laughs> That's the biggest threat. I'm not buying you any lunch. There we were teaching that brat to steal, and I, now I'm on his crew. <clears throat> Why did I, like, when he was talking about her going off with another man, why did I immediately think of Rick? Because he's like the next available dude, because she knows him. I 
are they gonna end up finding the drugs in his apartment that she brought and you know it's gonna end up putting him away for life despite the fact of course shows the drugs is he gonna be in his apartment again Do they happen to live in the same apartment building, or did he come in the apartment building because of Tom? Help him get an apartment. Uh, oh yeah, this, uh, this is for squares. <laughs> this is for squares. <laughs> and you're so elite a drug addict that even the most, like, menial drugs won't do it for you. Yeah, it makes me curious to look up that drug to look at why it's so great. Uh oh. What's it at, Bob? <gasps> what do you want? I want you dope, man. Where's the dope? Ugh. It's the other. It's the idiot. You want it the hallway? And we're just the guys are gonna give it to you. You, David. <laughs> yeah. He's so lame, you know exactly who it was. Little... Yes, take your mask off before you go outside into the hallway where pos people can possibly see you. Walk, calmly walks to the pay or what is it, pay phone, the phone in the hall to call the police. <laughs> Did they just record all this stuff, like home video stuff, to show that they were like what? Grew up friends were close. So that was drugstore cowboy. Actually, you know. You know, follows a druggie that realizes kind of, you know, he, he does drugs, he gets off of drugs, and then something happens, and he kind of realizes he doesn't want to, you know, be in, in, in jail for the rest of his life, and so he kind of turns straight, and even when confronted with temptation, he decides to stay on the straight and narrow, I guess. Um first half was kind of annoying because, you know, kind of hurting people and, uh, <laughs> you know, even like when he turned straight, it didn't really seem like his friend had any goddamn, death of his friend had any impact on him. It's just a possibility of getting caught and going to jail forever. That's what made him go straight. Which typically, that's not necessarily a bad thing, but when <laughs> when it's your friend who died from an overdose and, you know, it's you, the reason you go straight is because you're scared of going to jail and you just go and bury her in the middle of nowhere. Just feels so, like, self-serving and, yeah. It's less annoying in the second half, but I still can't really feel, um really like the guy, I guess, so. I probably won't watch this again. Probably end up forgetting I watched it, but I mean, it's not exactly my kind of movie, I guess. I tend to gravitate towards the movies in certain genres like sci-fi and horror, but also um, movies that might give me like a, a, something I'm able to relate to. And so this isn't really a movie I'm able to relate to um, there are others, even if they're not exactly in my genre, that I relate to more, um, because, you know, they, they're similar to, to who I am, and so, um, yeah, but, I mean, let's say I, I won't say I don't re um, I, I don't really regret watching it, because, you know, this is just another one movie to cross off my list of possible movies that I might end up enjoying that I didn't think I would enjoy, so, yeah, so, that was Drugstore Cowboy, 
and it's funny because I was checking it out from the library and you know the guy um, I used to work with he's like you know I had this I have this movie in my collection I was like okay <laughs> he seems that you know he's kind of a more like um, different tastes kind of guy so um, I just thought it was kind of interesting so yeah so, so yeah so if you did like this movie or this reaction give it a like uh, subscribe get notification for all the movies I'll be doing or videos I'll be doing and uh, you guys have a nice night stay safe out there and I'll talk to you later bye